New tonight, international studies showing promising results about the Pfizer vaccine. It was already known that the vaccine protects against severe illness, but the big question is, does it also help prevent spread? As WCNC Charlotte's Alex Shabad reports, there's now growing evidence that the answer is yes. Well, medical experts tell me the results are promising, but more information is still needed. And right now, the health recommendations stay the same. It's one of the big questions once you're vaccinated. Can you still spread the virus? To answer that question, we turn to the SIREN study composed of several organizations in the UK, as well as a study out of Israel. And we asked Dr. Meg Sullivan, Mecklenburg County's medical director. After receiving the Pfizer vaccine, Randy Dean feels protected. I'm just thrilled that I could get a vaccine. But since she lives in North Carolina, she still doesn't know if it's safe to travel to Pennsylvania to visit her family. So we want to walk in, hug everybody, <laughs> play with the baby, and I am not quite sure that I won't pick something up along the way and give it to them. The initial clinical studies show the vaccine protects people from severe illness, but does it also prevent those carrying COVID-19 from spreading it? Now, preliminary data from studies in the UK and Israel suggest the vaccine may do that too. The UK study estimated the shot's effectiveness against infection is at least 70% 21 days after the first dose, which increased to at least 85% seven days after the second dose. And according to the research out of Israel, the viral load is reduced fourfold for infections occurring 12 to 28 days after the first dose of vaccine. These reduced viral loads hint to lower infectiousness, further contributing to vaccine impact on virus spread. To see data coming out, it's always exciting to look at. But Mecklenburg County Medical Director Dr. Meg Sullivan says it still doesn't fully answer the question about whether the vaccine prevents infection. I think promising data, but not enough to change anyone's recommendations around still adhering to all public health guidance, even if they've been vaccinated. It gives me a little more hope. Dean says she's still not comfortable enough to see her family in person, but she's glad scientists are closely studying the vaccine impacts. The more science, the better. I'm so glad people like you report on these as much as possible so we can know the truth. Dr. Sullivan says she expects a lot more data about whether the vaccine prevents spread in the coming months. In Charlotte, Alex Shabbat, WCNC Charlotte.